<clears throat> what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, everybody? This is your girl, Shani, coming to you live all the way from the 414 area. Y'all know what we do and how we do it. All right, all right, all right. For those who are new to this channel, I'm going to say welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Also, for my oldies but goodies, of those that already know, y'all know what we do. Come on back, come on back. Come on in the room. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on in here. Your girl, today I cooked. This is my third video, y'all, okay? My third video. My phone storage went out. But anywho, anyhow, I have today, today for you, it is broccoli and chicken teriyaki stir fry over some jasmine rice. I'm just going to eat, y'all, because I thought I was recording, and obviously I wouldn't. How about that, okay? Well, it's okay. But it's good, y'all. Broccoli just right. It's crunchy. Mmm. -hmm, mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm trying to sit this recording, okay? So if you see me standing here, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and I got some soda. Cheers. Y'all, let me give y'all a bite. I'm sorry. Let me give y'all a bite. I'm going to give y'all some. Have some, will ya? As they say in the country days, have some. Mm -hmm. This is show you right. Show enough. Show enough good. Oh. Mm -mm. And y'all, I put some pecans in here too. Mm -hmm. I was just doing some, y'all. Trying to eat healthy. Cheers. What y'all doing? <sighs> Whew, on this beautiful, fabulous. Tuesday. By the time y'all see this, I don't know what time it's gonna be, but y'all, it is nine fifty six here. Okay, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hanging here with y'all. I'm gonna hang. Y'all, it snowed up here. I see why people leave in Wisconsin, baby. Mm mm mm. Don't you do it. Don't move up here. Unless you like the call. Don't you do it. Uh-uh. No. Not a half one. Not a old one. Reverse. <laughs> Go back the other way. Y'all, this is so good. <laughs> I'll, pat, I'll pat myself on the back. Uh, yeah. I did that. Yes, I did. Y'all, I'm getting so full. Full, 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 full. Mm. But anywho, anyhow, y'all, if no, overnight. I promise you, we had to get over. I want to say about four or five, maybe six. Yeah, because it was up to my knees. Six inches. Had to. I say about six inches. Y'all. And I'm usually good with going out, you know, a little bit earlier, but. I just didn't feel like it, y'all. I just, I don't know. It's just, I know I felt like, you know how they say you feel the weather when it's coming, when it gets cold, your body aching and stuff. It wasn't aching too bad because I had some knee, I had a knee surgery. I had a meniscus tear. And then I had, I don't know if y'all can see, but that mark right there. I don't know. I was just feeling cold and just dry, you know, groggy, just laying around and just exhausted, okay? Baby, I didn't feel like getting up, but baby, I wish I would have got this body 
up and I've been doing exercise. Yesterday I did a video, y'all. So don't forget to check out my video yesterday, Just For Me. It's a video called Just For You. And it's it's a good one, y'all. It's a good one. I did that video three times. Al, what do you think we did? You better have got one of my pieces. What do you think um, with the weather, um, the snow? How many inches? What, about six? About six inches? That was about six or seven inches, wasn't it? Yeah, my son said, y'all, it was about six, seven inches. It was a mess, okay? A whole mess. And y'all, I'm telling y'all, look for people to help you. I have a brother who have his company, who is have his own touring business. I'm sorry, y'all. He has his own touring business. So other than that, he would help me. But that's my only little help. It's sad that you got family members. They ain't gonna help you. I guess they feel that you got a son and a daughter. But anywho, anyhow, let me slow it down. But you know, like I said, when they when they say the weather changes, your body will let you know. You know, your aches and stuff like that. But I had this like two years ago. I had surgery. Had a uh, a, a aortic aneurysm, y'all. And they repaired my aorta. And this was one of the procedures. I forgot what it was called. We well, did <clears throat> bypass one of the arteries to allow the blood to flow more on the right side. So sometimes y'all forgive me if y'all see me do like go into like a a, a slow reaction because I'm usually a quick thinker. That's one of my side effects, y'all. What I can tell, like sometimes I be I try to get it out. It's a little delay, <laughs> but I ain't delay. Okay, I'm not crazy. But it's just a little delay. You may think I, it's hard for me to kind of get the words out what I really want to say. It's a little delay there. But anywho, anyhow, but I am thankful to be here in the land of the living because it could have been me that was cut off. But I am grateful. How about that? Yes. On this channel, y'all, y'all going to get some of everything, okay? You'll get a little bit of acting. Pranks, I, I, ain't, I don't think I'm going to do that. Unless it is because I'm a natural prankster, natural comedian when I can, when I want to be. But strictly, you know, this is a religious, real life issues, real stories, testimonies. We're going to get it all. Mm hmm. You get it all. Every now and then you'll see my children coming through. I have a son and a daughter. Mm hmm. Don't ask me my age because I ain't telling y'all. Anywho, anyhow, but, um, yeah, there's snow up here, y'all. I don't blame y'all for moving. I'm telling you, one day, who knows, my daughter go off to college. I don't know, maybe she may, she may break the tradition, honey. She go off to college, I follow, I <laughs> follow her within a year. I don't know. I don't know, I have to be somewhere. Y'all know what I would like to do? If I ever got hold to some good old money, I wish I could be in the shoes to where when it's snow here in Milwaukee, because I love Milwaukee. And when it's snow here in Milwaukee, I will be here in Milwaukee um, until maybe October-ish to it start to snow really bad in the beginning. I want to say in at the end of October, I will leave. I won't mind coming back. In March, pay somebody to come do the snow, shovel my snow yard, and hit hit the road, Jack, and I ain't coming back no more. You know, that's if I had it like that. I was staying too. Where would I want to stay? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Arizona. I don't know. Maybe Hawaii, Jamaica. Somewhere with the islands, man. The islands. I don't know. I don't know where I would want to stay. Somewhere nice and hot and in between where it's not too hot. Where the, the wind may blow every now and then. A little bit of rain. Temperatures between mm, comfortability 70. I'm about an 80, 90. Somewhere nice, y'all. 
who knows what the future may bring. I don't know. Anyway, anyhow, enough of that sad story. Anyway. But yeah, y'all. My brother came. Okay, I'm sorry. I was looking out the window. I thought I was seeing something. My brother. You saved me, honey. You came over here about 9.30 earlier because me and my son had dated earlier. It just takes a lot. I have a lot of property, y'all. A whole lot. And y'all probably saying, lady, I don't don't let the glasses, don't let the hair, don't let it fool you. I was raised with a family, mechanics, engineering, moving with their hands. They didn't play, especially with my dad. It was five girls and one boy. Baby, we know how to do as much as the men, the, the boy. <laughs> no shade, no tea. Real tea, no shade. My daddy had us out there. We watched everything he did, y'all. In that garage. From passing the tools. Standing out there, giving him his water. Masking them cars up. My daddy was cold with his hands, y'all. My daddy was a barber. He was a jack of all trades. And you couldn't do nothing but watch and learn. These kids, these days. I didn't know what I was going to talk about, y'all. These kids, these days. Okay, that's what the video should be. These kids, these children, whatever you want to call them. These Anywho, anyhow, baby, we was on, okay? We was watching. We was ready to learn. These kids, these days don't want to learn nothing. They want to learn this fast-paced life. They don't care. Baby, my daddy, all he had to do was give us that look. Y'all know that look? Sean, my name is Sean. He called me Sharn. Why did they call them country folks? Let me see what else. What else they say, Albert? Sharn. Come here, Sharn. Sharn, Pat. I'm like, Sharn. Dad, Sharn. I'm sorry. Dad, I'm sorry because I know you're going to check out my video. But I didn't know where he got Sharn from. Sean and Sharn is, I don't know. Anywho, anyhow. I knew what it meant, okay? Okay? Vice versa is my daughter, this young generation. And they say it's about the young generation. Get out of my face with that fool. Anywho, anyhow. Baby. My daddy just had to give us that look. Okay? That look. It was on the poppy. Didn't let us go outside. Okay? Until our chores was done. But these days, these kids, these little hooligans, these days, they don't care about no chores. And don't know that's a part of a foundation. Anywho, anyhow. I'm just saying, okay, y'all kids out there, y'all need to be raised in the olden days like we was. You need that good paddling, them switches that was braided, and baby, don't get that blackie, the blackie or the brownie. What is that? Them belts? Baby, them, them thick leather raggedy belts that was, paint was peeling off of them, okay? Baby, about this long. All right, this thick, this thick, and this thick. Baby, it was on. All you heard was skin. I mean, we were scared by their voice. I mean, the looks, the look like, go over there and sit down. You know what I'm saying? But these days, these kids don't care nothing about a look. They don't care nothing about a whatever in your hand. They don't care. These you dare you try your kids, okay? These you dare you try your kids. I'm telling you, the Bible is fulfilling. He said they're going to get wiser and weaker. And that they are. Because, like I said, we will be out there. So anything I know, I thank God for my father. I stood out there. We knew as much as the boy did. Okay? And he don't like working on cars, y'all. At all. He said he'll pay somebody. And he does. Okay? But then it getting mad at us in a minute. I mean, for me, 
me and my brother go at it because he feel like I'm a, what do you call it, Albert? You think I'm a woman, uh, be a man, a manizer? What do you, what do you say? Mm -hmm. They got a problem. I'm talking about how y'all say I treat men. Y'all, they think I got a problem with men, which I do. Okay, but I don't have a problem that much that I don't, I dislike them. I just don't like the words and the things that they do when it comes to a woman that um, they feel I'm dominant. And I tell them now, blame it on my father. Because every and anything I do and how I learned it is thank be to Deacon Smith, okay? Because we was raised to be strong. We was raised to not beg nobody for nothing. You know, that's how my daddy trained us. And I have to learn how to stay in my place sometimes, y'all. I do. But uh, these men don't want to get in, get, get in the place. How about that? They don't want to get in the place. So with that being said... I'm telling you, we knew it all. We we had to learn it all. Okay? Changing tires. Let me get on the flat. I mean, I went through so much. You can't do nothing but be, get built up. Okay? I'm just saying. Then you want to get mad at a woman for trying to do her job. I mean, trying to help herself. I don't be wanting to do all of it, y'all, but I don't have no other choice. And when you don't have no other choice, I just to do. I Nike it. That's how I say. That's our tip for the day. Nike it. What is Nike it to do? I just do what I got to do to make it happen. Because if I, I realize one thing, y'all. I realize one thing. Sitting there looking at something, it ain't going to get done. I visualize stuff. That's how I programmed and trained my brain. I look at it. I, I, I thought about what I got to do. And I'll just get at it and do it. Like that snow, Connie. Because I have a lot of property over here, y'all. Okay? One day, I'm going to give y'all a house tour. I have a long, I have a two-car garage. I'm not bragging. Just, I'm in blessed. Okay? Two slab. Okay? Parking space. Just imagine a long sidewalk from the alley. I mean, from the garage all the way to the front around. All the way down some steps. And then I'm in the middle of the block. So you can count the sidewalk from there. From the left to the right neighbor. I'm just saying. Y'all I said. Oh I want a big house. I want a, uh, no, no I didn't. I'm taking back. I'm sorry. I said well I want a big yard for my family. I'm thinking about everybody. Okay everybody. Because that's how I was raised. We had a big yard for real. My daddy done purchased the house. And they were able to. Um, the house next door got torn down. So they got that property. So that's how my house is. A house. And another lot. Okay. Oh, la la lot. Like a football field. And y'all, I ain't been here but five years. And I ain't had a chance to enjoy my house. Because I was, this year before the pandemic hit, I said I was going to have an oldie but goodie birthday celebration for myself. Because y'all, I am a baby that was born on my mom's birthday. I am so lucky to be blessed and shared a birthday with my mom. Um, rest in peace, mom. She's gone on to heaven. And uh, it was, it's was it been really tough. So I was like, you know what? I had stopped celebrating because, you know, when you get, you know, go through your trials and tribulations, I still, every once in a while, that's a hurtful feeling, you know, to think about it. So I try not to think about it. So I stopped celebrating that much. You know, I wanted to make my day my day because, you know, that, you know, but when my mom died, that just hurt me. And I said, I will never do that again because it's a blessing to be born on your mom's birthday. You know what I'm saying? To share that day with her. Just imagine her. I, don't, I didn't think about the fact that when she had me, you know, going in labor with a child. And I just, you know, it just did something to me. Anywho, anyhow. But I was going to have a big one, y'all. But when this pandemic hit, I was like, ah, I don't trust nobody. I don't care because people, I mean, had COVID. And I'm just saying dirty. Dirty but messy but shady, messy folks. Okay. Anywho, anyhow, folks can have, folks had COVID around you. Didn't tell you, and you got these folks with these silly minds to say, well, if I got it, you going to get it. And I had it, y'all. I'm telling you, I didn't have COVID, but I've experienced it, baby. I was in the um, laundry mat, maybe about this when it had slowed down, okay? 
and I went to the laundromat for my father, and I had on a mask, y'all. I was geared up, and this lady, um, I, you know, I had my distance, but this lady, um, the kids, I knew the children from me being a special ed uh, educator, and I'm looking like, okay, and I was like, hey, because I knew them because they went to our school. Baby, why the, oh, Jesus, help me. The mama said the most dumbest thing out of her mouth, y'all. I looked. I'm so glad I didn't hug those babies. I'm so glad they were distanced. But those babies was eating, you know, the chips, no hand sanitizer. Us, us, uh, us uh, can be stupid, okay? Just think stupid, okay? But I'm going to give you the word for that, the scripture for that, because that's just my little nasty flesh. I'm going to give you the scripture for it. He said his people perish because of lack of knowledge. We need to get knowledgeable before we open our mouth. Okay? This lady was like, I work in the metal field and, uh, she's like, I work in the metal field and, um, well, you know, we were just talking and she was like, I don't know why these people wearing these masks really originally. Them masks, um, was for people who had COVID and, and to cut and to protect, um, from, um, to protect they say, I'm not like, you sound so stupid to protect yourself. You mean to protect others? And so I'm sitting there looking at her and I, and I was about, you know, six feet. And my nephew, y'all, was in there. And my nephew, I don't know, for some reason, I was led to send him out. Out, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Right after I sent my nephew out to go sit in the car with his dad, this lady gonna say, yeah, because I work in the medical field and, um, I want my kids to go back to school, and I had COVID, and I had to do what I had to do. Let me tell y'all, this is Miss Thing, okay? This the act, okay? And I had to do what I had to do, and my kids can catch COVID. And um, and I still, I said, y'all, my look, you should have seen the look on my face. I want to run so bad, but because I had my mask on, I didn't let that devil fear me, Okay. I promise you, I want to say you so stupid. Stupid is, stupid was, and stupid does. She's a big old wrapped up Christmas gift, surprise presents. Stupid. All of the stupids, okay? All of it. And I say, you know what? Let me get out of here. So I finished doing it. I don't know what, if she was doing it to be funny. But like I said, people would not tell you nothing. So you got to use best judgment for yourself, okay? Use it for yourself, okay? Who wants to harm somebody else? Want somebody else to die or want somebody else to have it? You don't even know their health condition, their situation. Girl, bye, boy, bye, bye, Felicia. It's just wrong. Mm -mm. I looked at her and then she said, then my kids caught it, and they got, they still got it now. But you got these kids in here. I promise you, y'all, if I seen the owner, wasn't well, nobody else in there. They had unlocked the door. I didn't see the workers and nobody in there. I promise you I was going to tell on her. If I was a police officer, I would have gave her a ticket right then and there. But that's okay. Just stupid. Like I said, stupid is, stupid was, and all of the stupid does above. Sometimes we can be so foolish, our mentality of, of wanting people to get sick. But what we don't know is, and I'm going to get ready to close this video out. What goes around, help me say it. What goes around, comes around. Okay? What goes up, must come down. So when you do wrong to people, that stuff coming back to you, it may not come back to you when you think it is. It's going to come back, though. I said, you, ooh, Y'all, okay, cut someone in my vocabulary, okay, because I don't do that, but I can tell you off in good old off in the Holy Ghost. I want to tell her, girl, you need to go somewhere and sit down and be a representation to your children because I give you a applaud to y'all because she's a first line worker. This is how sick people that's in the nursing home probably could have died because of ignorant people like that. I got to do what I got to do. I got to feed my kids. That's how she said. I got to feed my kids. So I got to do what I got to do. No, that's stupid. That's ignorant at its finest. Okay? That's silly and foolish at its finest. Silly Felicia. I just, you know, it's 
Beautiful children, though, y'all. Beautiful children. I just looked. I just... Then we wonder why the kids come to our school trying to fight us. Kids come trying to cussing people out, cussing grown-ups out. Because you ain't respecting nobody. But you want to hit your kids and, and pop them in their mouth. They a good a representation of you. So I wasn't going to say this. Be careful what you're doing and saying hi in front of you, saying in front of your kids, okay? Okay? Because them little girls are so, they were so beautiful and they just looked at her. They just looked at her. And I'm telling you, none of them had a mask on. And we was mandated to wear the mask. Okay? They didn't have no mask on. Had that been my business, you can keep your money. Okay? Okay? You could have kept your money. I would have put you out. I would have threw your raggedy clothes. And we ain't going to talk about her clothes, how many bags she had. I was somebody. Okay? So that let me know what type of mama you are. Anywho, anyhow... All right, it's 25 minutes. I'm gone. Y'all, I am tired. Till we meet again, this is your girl Shawnee closing out. Y'all always have a song, but y'all know, y'all know, y'all know tonight. I y'all not I don't have it. I don't I don't have it. But if I would have had, I mean, if I would have sung a song, it would have been millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did. That means Regardless of what you go through, baby, if you still yet in the land of the living and you are here, baby, and that was your neighbor over there, you was one of the ones who did, you oh God, okay? Little verse of it, millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did, if that be you. Millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did. Y'all, I made it through this. I made it. I made it. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody didn't. Come on now. Somebody didn't live to tell their story, but you did. Millions didn't make it, but yet you made it. I'm out on that note. All right. I'm out. Until we meet again, don't forget to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit me that thumbs up. Hit that notification button. And, and until we meet again, God bless y'all. Don't forget to check on somebody, anybody, anyone. Don't forget to pray for somebody, anybody, anyone. Don't forget to give hope. Always give hope for tomorrow. Don't forget to uplift, strengthen, and motivate. Until we meet again, your girl is out.